uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, model trust members. And, and before that, uh, let me just uh, do a problem, the fourth problem of that uh, homework number three. So after that, we will do a trust problem. So this was the uh, the fourth problem of that uh, homework number three, which had which is also a uh, a portal frame. So AB is a straight line, and then BC is an angled line. So it's no longer a horizontal uh, bar, right? So and then on top of this inclined member, we have thirty kilonewtons, which is applying perpendicular direction. So now let's go to our RISA program. All right, so we will have to define our grid system here. Uh, so we know that this is in terms of meters and kilonewtons. So the first things, uh, uh, first thing is that we need to change the unit, right? So you go over there and then change this into meters. Uh, force will be in terms of kilonewtons. Uh, no springs, no springs. Uh, linear force will be in kilonewtons per meter. And then area, we are not going to use it. So uh, are there any moments? If there are moments, okay, uh, it should be in terms of uh, kilonewton meters. But anyway, we don't have any concentrated moments applied there. So we hit OK. And then we need to define our grid system. And then we go to this uh, button. And then here along the x direction, along the x direction, we will have uh, uh, one. Uh, one span, right? So one at one at how much is this length? So this length is uh, the question is saying that the BC is five meters. This height is three meters. So the this length will be four meters, right? So this is four meters along the x. Along the y, we would have to consider two spans: the span that covers BC area and also the span that covers this AB length. So we will use uh, two. Uh, so that will be in terms of five and three. So one span at uh, five, right? And one span at three, okay? So if you hit okay, that's gonna be our, uh, grid system that we will be working on okay all right so let's uh, start drawing the members first so this is the starting point right so we have a b at a we have a fixed point uh, j will be pinned because it's a hinge at b this the, the the rest of them we will consider as default because we will not be using that for our calculation and then hit okay we will draw from here all the way up to here and then go off of that and then hit again uh, the member uh, set members and then the starting point now will be pinned and the uh, the other end will be fixed so hit okay we will use that one and then hit over here so you can see there will be a hinge uh, introduced at point b Okay, so now the next thing is that we need to apply the, uh, the loadings, All right? So this is the uh, distributed load, okay? So we will need to apply the distributed load on AB member. So AB member, the distributed load is applied along the X direction. So I might need to change this to global X, right? And then the starting will be four along the X direction and the end will be four on the x direction. This will be applied over the AB member, which is zero all the way up to eight meters, right? So uh, you apply that and then you click here and this uh, distributor load will be applied on AB member. So now let's look at this 30 kilonewtons uh, concentrated load that is applied right in the middle. Okay, so you go over there, so you can just go off that uh, distributed load uh, assignment and then click this uh, concentrated more, uh, load. So now this is the place where we will use the lowercase y. 
because the reason is that this uh, uppercase X and uppercase Y is representing uh, that the global coordinate system. So whatever that is going in the uh, uppercase X that is going into the right, whatever that is uh, going along the uppercase Y that is going to the uh, up direction. This lowercase x and lowercase y are, uh, are particular for a, a member. For example, if you consider this BC member, this 30 kilonewtons is applying perpendicular direction to BC, right? So that means the it should be in the vertical direction, which is y direction, but that is applied along negative direction. So that is going in the, the downward direction, right? So that's why we use a negative 30, 30 kilonewtons. And the applied location of this force is in the middle. So this BC is how much? Uh, five meters. So this is the place where we started uh, first to draw this BC member. And then this length will be 2.5 meters. Okay, so that's 2.5. And then apply, if you apply here, you can see that 30 kilonewtons will be applied perpendicular direction downward to this BC member. Okay, so that is where, we, where, where you use that lowercase y, which is called as uh, local direction. These are global direction. This is called the localized direction, local direction. Okay, so we have applied the uh, the loads. Now, now we need to use the boundary condition. So at A, we have a pin support. At C, we also have a pin support. We go over here and then select pin. Uh, and then you will see that X translation, Y translation is fixed. All right, so let's hit apply. So we will apply at here and also here. We will have uh, two pin supports. And let go of that. And then everything is there. And then we will solve this problem. And then you will see that uh, the reaction will start to show you here. Let's go to our uh, solution, problem number four. Okay. So N1 is here. This is A, uh, AX is negative 16. Okay, AX is negative six, uh, 16. That means AX in this direction. So I have a positive 16. Anyway, this is along this uh, direction. So this is correct. And uh, AY uh, is 6.75. Okay, so AY is 6.75. Is BY 6.75? Uh, uh, BY is, uh, BY is in, in the hinge. So this is not showing you the, the hinge reaction only the support reactions. If you want to see the hinge reactions, uh, I will show you how, how you can uh, do that. But uh, let's focus on the support reactions here first. Uh, so this is C. This one uh, is Cx, how much? Minus two. Cx is uh, positive, uh, positive two, right? So that, that is going in the same direction, okay? This is correct. And what about Cy? Cy is 17.25, okay? They are in same order. That means our calculations are the same. All right, so now let's go get rid of this one and then see how the, uh, the, the shear diagram, axial diagram, and the bending moment diagram would look, uh, would look like. So this is the vertical, uh, uh, vertical member. And let's uh, toggle this out and also just uh, hide this uh, diagram. Uh, the grid uh, here, and then uh, let's go to the axial uh, diagram. Okay, so this is how much? This is uh, uh, six point. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. You can just zoom it in. This is uh, six point eight. Okay, so this is six point eight. That means uh, this is six point seven five. This is correct. So let's uh, zoom it out. And then what about this one? So that is 8.8. 8.8, yes, it's uh, 8.8. Okay, so 8.75. So this is uh, 
approximating it to the nearest decimal. Okay, and then if you go to the shear diagram, shear diagram on the vertical component that is 16 on, uh, on either side, 16, 16, and on the inclined member, that will be 15 and 15, exactly the same way that we have in our solution. And uh, let's go to the moment. Moment is uh, parabolic, so the maximum moment is 32 on the vertical member. Okay, so this is matching with our solution, 32. And on the inclined member, that will be, uh, how much is this? I do not have the number, but it should be the same as 37.1, okay? So this is how you will do your uh, inclined members and then inclined forces applied on these uh, members. So you can uh, do this.